Hear me out, online shopping. In recent years, online shopping has become extremely accessible. And might I say it's became dangerously accessible because there are literal horror stories of kids stealing their parents' phones and then just buying so many things online because it has just became so easy to do. And most of the time, this is not a bad thing. It's always a great thing to make things more accessible. But when you have a social media app that has literally installed its own shopping feature so that anybody can put things on for anybody to buy, because at the end of the day, is it actually a social media app anymore or is it just an app that is providing content and advertising constantly. The TikTok shop is such an interesting thing for me. It is like a phenomenon. The reason I say that is because people are selling literally everything on there, but then discounting it for so cheap. I mean, I've literally seen people selling actual lightsabers for like 10 pounds. And they apparently arrive in great condition, but that seems interesting. <laughs> so today, I'm gonna be putting my worries aside and I'm gonna be using the TikTok shop. I'm gonna be finding out if they even actually arrive and if it's actually worth the money. But I have to make sure that I get at least five of these things. Something tech related, something good for my office, something good for the house, something fashion related, and food or drink. I'm able to get more than just these things, but I need to make sure I hit all these boxes. The food and drink one though is the one that I'm most concerned about. What do you mean I'm able to just buy baked goods on the TikTok shop and then they get delivered to my house? I, I, I don't know. Also one more thing, please subscribe. It is completely free and it helps me out a lot and most of the people that watch my videos don't even realize they're not subscribed yet. Let's get into it. This is what it looks like and we're just gonna keep scrolling. Whatever finds my eye is what we're gonna get. Immediately we're being offered food. I, oh, it's, it just scares me. So according to the TikTok shop, I'm able to get a literal console for £5.99. I just, I just can't imagine that is accurate. It's tech related, so we're gonna get it. Let's carry on. Yeah, there's a lot of, see, someone's just selling cookies. You don't know what's in them. They got clip. What is, what is that? Oh, oh, it's freeze dried. Okay, I thought it was something else. Cinder cook. You can buy a cookie for £2.99. Is that just a box of sweets? What? Okay, now I'm just being off. Certified freak. Okay. They've got shirts, they've got jackets for 20... Two in one lightsaber? What? For 18 pound? You know what? Okay, we're going to get a lightsaber for 18 pounds because that will definitely arrive and in one piece. The only things left are things that can go in my office and... Food. Oh, all right. What can go in my office? Uh, honestly, we could probably get something like LEDs, maybe. Are they like te oh, tech talk. <gasps> okay, hold on. Just give me something cool that can go in the background of my setup, please, and then I'll be happy. Oh, that's cute. Okay, you know what? Yeah, we'll get one of those, okay? We'll get a little astronaut. And this means the only thing that's left is food and drink. I am very scared. Got like fudge, which is a bit scary. The Nutella 3kg, what the fuck is happening? You know, I'm really terrified that I'm gonna eat something from here and then I'm just never gonna upload this video because I'll be dead. I don't even know what to go with here. Like, do I go with packaged sweets to not be stupid or do I go with something that is baked good? Am I the only person that's scared of this? Like, I, I don't know if this is just an irrational fear about buying food from something you don't know where it's coming from. You know what? We're gonna get a freeze-dried mystery box. I feel like it's the safe option. Let's hope I don't die. Now, when you click on the search bar, the really interesting thing is that I think it tries to give you things they think you'll enjoy. Tell me why one of my searches is ADHD toys. I What do they even have on here? Hold on, wait a minute. Surely we get slime from the TikTok shop to see how well it does. I mean, no, that's stupid, that's stupid. Why would I do that? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna buy slime from the TikTok shop. What? Let me live. The whole section, which is just flying toys. It's a drone? Wait, apparently this is a drone for 22 pounds. Let's try it. So this is our final basket. We have got a remote control helicopter, slime. We've got some sweets. We've got a astronaut galaxy projector. We've got men's clothing, two things. Uh, we've also got a wireless mic. We've got lightsabers, we've got a camera and we have a console. 
Now, half of these things probably aren't gonna arrive, but we're gonna find out together. I'm gonna buy all of these products and we're gonna see you in the next part. Please arrive, please arrive. It's been about a week since I started recording this video and things definitely arrived. I was honestly expecting nothing to come and this video just wouldn't exist. Oh, hooray, I can actually make a video. So no more yapping, let's just get into it and find out what the TikTok shop has to offer. The portable game box. This was only $5.99 and I'm genuinely excited to see if it works. The box is a bit damaged, which is a bit stressful, but it's fine. I'm sure it's fine. Okay, we have a few chargers and then... Oh, okay, that's the remote. And then we have the thing itself. Okay. Oh, does it need battery? Oh. Oh, no, it has a battery. Okay. I don't know if this needs to be charged, so we're just going to turn it on and see. I don't know if you can hear it, but it fully works. It's got Mario, it's got Final Fantasy, it's got Ninja Turtles. I want you to just look at this real quick. Oh my god, it's got Tetris. Oh, wait, I want to see if I can beat Tetris. Hold on. I want to try and connect the controller because if this works, this is a game changer. And by game changer, I mean, not really. It doesn't really change much, but it's pretty cool. The controller doesn't work and also... This is getting so hot. It's only been on for literally two minutes and I have to hold it like this because the back is burning. I don't know how safe this is, so I'm gonna turn it off before anything else happens. It was really cool before I started fearing for my life, so I'm gonna have to deduct points for that. But if it wasn't for the heat problem and the fact the controller doesn't work, I would give it a three out of five. It's cheap and you can play games, it can cure boredom. But yeah, no, I don't know how much I trust this. I feel like if I was five years old trying to play this under the covers while I pretend like I'm asleep, that would be a five. It it there would be a five, it would all be bad. Next, this is going into the I won't use again pile. The lightsabers. I am so excited. I feel like I just get really excited over everything, which probably makes these videos so interesting to watch because even if something isn't fun i'm probably gonna be excited about it anyway listen man i'm just happy to be alive okay so this is the packaging and it, it's looking pretty legit now these were only 19 pounds and i am very intrigued don't really know what i meant to do it just came with these and then a few more other things it's like a puzzle piece now let's find out if this works can you hear that Oh my god. It doesn't light up. Never mind. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Okay, this is really cool. I don't know if you can hear it, but as you move it, it makes the sound of a lightsaber. Is this gonna work? Hold on. Oh my god. Oh my god! When you hit something, it lights up. Watch. This is so sick! Okay, wait, 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 wait. It was said that you would help destroy the Sith, not join them. I hate you! What am I doing with my life? Oh my god, this is- I'm having such a fun time. This is so cool. I'm giving this a five star, full stop. I- this is the coolest thing I own now. This was under 20 pounds. This is not an ad. This is just so cool. Would I use this again? Absolutely! The slime. Now, I don't know if you've just immediately clocked this, but it is tiny. No, like, it is- it is genuinely tiny. But we're not gonna judge it, you know, good things come in small packages, so we're just gonna- we're gonna open it. I never understood what that phrase meant, because everyone used to say it to me when I was a kid. I still don't really get it, because honestly, I just got a lightsaber, and it came in a pretty big package, and it was great. This line was two pounds and 19 pence. It does come with a little charm, which is quite cute. Well, let's figure out if it's any good. Oh. Oh, it just- I- I, I guess I'm just- Oh, this is great. Oh, this is, you know what? For two pounds, not the worst slime I've ever played with. It is better than the one that I made in the last video. That's all I'm saying. Actually, yeah, no, this is not bad. And yeah, no, I was, I was judging this way too harshly. This is great. Oh yeah. Honestly, I'm giving this a four out of five. It was two pounds and it is really fun. Would I play with this again? Yeah. 
the wireless microphones. So these were four pounds and 12 pence. And apparently these are wireless and also amazing quality. And apparently can beat some of the best brands in the microphone game. But we're really gonna put this to the test considering I have my own lav microphones. I'm gonna open my phone and I'm just gonna press record. This is me testing the lav microphone. I have no idea if it's going to work. It was only four pounds from the TikTok shop. Uh, some llama doom and llama, you've assumed I'm human. What I gotta do to get a 30 year human elevator animator rubber said anything enough of me no good you never say any more than ever demonstrating how to give a motherfucking audience that never waiting i know the hairs are forever waiting for the day they can say follow this celebrating because i know we're gonna get a motivator i'm making a bit of music you make a bit of music is it working i have no idea let's find out this is me listening to the audio back we're gonna do some testing you ready okay uh it's actually not that bad i'm gonna give these a five out of five i am probably going to use these so if you guys see me using this in the next video mind your business but i use this again absolutely so happy this is so cool the jumper. Now, if you remember, we got something from every single category. And this is from the clothes category. And it already feels cheap. <laughs> but it was £12, which is very good for a jumper. I don't know if this is going to be nice or not. All right, editor, blur this out in case my beanie comes off, okay? I'm, I'm trusting you. I'm trusting you. For £12, this is great. I'm going to be honest, it's probably not going to keep you warm. I'm somebody that overheats very easily. So this is perfect. But we did get another item of clothing. So I'm going to rate them together because I think that's only fair. So I'm going to change out of this and we're going to see how well it does. I don't really like this one as much. <laughs> I don't really wear jackets anyway, so it makes sense. But it is fine quality. It just, it feels like something you would get knowing it's going to be cheap. But for the jumper, would I use it again? Absolutely. And for the jacket, I'm probably going to give it to somebody I know. The camera. Now, this is only £19, and apparently it is better than some of the most expensive cameras that you can get on the market. That's one of the satisfying screen pulls, look. That was nice. Once again, I don't know if it's going to be charged, so let's find out together. <gasps> it's charged! Okay! Oh! Oh, wait! Hello! Hey! Hey! Oh, this is sweet! Oh, this is me using the digital camera! You can see me, you can see me, you can see me! And now we can just watch the footage together, so let's watch. Oh. It works! I mean, it's definitely a camera! Favorite thing about this camera is when you turn it on and also when you turn it off. It says welcome, and then wait for it. It says bye bye! <laughs> and again, I do think you could probably get something, if not better, for probably cheaper. I'm gonna be honest, if you go to your local charity shop or even just like a thrift store, You'll probably find something like this, if not way better, or way cheaper. But without the knowledge and just completely erasing that fact, I'm gonna give this a 4 out of 5. It works what I needed to do. Would I use it again? Yeah, I would. The little astronaut. Now, this is a star projector, and if you haven't watched one of my videos before, you know I do already have one. But for the sake of this video, I have had it off so we can see what it's like with this. This was only £7. Just off looks alone, this is adorable. The, look, look at him. Look, please, look at him. Okay, and this is something we've actually got to plug in, so I'm going to do that real quick. Oh, God, I dropped him. Oh, oh, my God, his head. Oh, it's magnetic. We're fine. I have the little guy right here. Let's find out if he works. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. I've discovered the issue. The place where you're meant to put the charger, it's loose. <laughs> you see, I don't know if you can see just from there, but it's coming out. And I'm assuming that's kind of messed it up. So I don't even think we're going to be able to review this one. Oh, I guess this gets a zero out of ten. And would I use it again? Absolutely not. That was sad. I didn't like that. Okay. The drone. Now, this is only £22, and we're actually going to find out if it works. If it does work, I am going to be over the moon. I always wanted to have a drone when I was a kid. And also when I was growing up. And also when I was an adult. And now. I, I just really wanted a drone. I never really justify buying one because of how expensive they are. This is a bit scary, actually. It looks like a little bug. I have to download an app for this. While I wait for the app to download, I'm just going to go through the instructions. Yeah, that's fine. Don't really know what i'm looking at this is insane okay i've downloaded the app let's find out what i do now i don't think this is right <laughs> okay i think i need to turn it on but what if it just starts attacking me i don't want it to start flying at me what if it does ah i put the battery in and it did a massive and i'm i, I i'm a bit scared i jumped really easily i wasn't recording but it, it scared me <laughs> nothing's really happening <laughs> Put this in charge and we're going to review the next item and then we'll finish off this video with the drone. 
The freeze-dried sweets. If you remember in the first part, this is something I am terrified about. I'm not very adventurous, especially with my food. So while the drone is charging, we're gonna eat some freeze-dried sweets. I don't think that sentence has ever been said before, but let's get into it. What it looks like, and we've got a bunch of different options, which is great. However, it doesn't actually say what they are. And I guess we're just gonna open them and then eat them and then hope for the best that I don't get food poisoning. Oh my, oh my God, they are strong. Smell them immediately. Whoa. Well, comment down below if you like Skittles. Better yet, comment down below what your favorite Skittle is because I am a very, very big enjoyer of the red Skittles. Okay, I always have been. Okay, so this is what they look like. And uh, yeah, they just look like normal Skittles if they were just on steroids. This is also the first thing that I'm eating today. So let's hope it's good. Whoa. This texture is something that I've never experienced before. It is like... I don't even know how to explain it. I am so... I don't know. The only thing I can compare this to is a crunchy bar with the honeycomb in the middle. You know the texture of the honeycomb? That is the closest comparison, and even then, I don't think it's close. Three, two, one. Hell yeah! This is a really fun experience. I would never buy these again. No hate to them at all, and no hate to the company. It's good, like I said, but like, do I have a use for it? No. It's been about 30 minutes, and I just want to see if this works. And if it doesn't, I give up. I'm gonna insert this back in. Cool. Turning it on. Now. Oh, it's beeping at me. Why is it? Why are you beeping? What's wrong? Oh, 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 don't do that. Am I meant to do anything? It does not like me. Well, that was a bust. I have, yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, I have no idea. You know what? Even if the drone didn't work, you know what did work? The lightsabers! Subscribe! Well, that was the video. We found some pretty good stuff, but I do want to say, the majority of the things that I got today may seem cheap, but they're cheap for a reason. At the end of the day, don't fall into the habit of just buying everything you want because it's easily bought. Because if you just take one step outside and you just go to local places, charity shops, because trust me, you will be able to find some of the things that I've bought and even better for way cheaper. You just got to use your eyes and you also got to use your imagination. Thank you for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. And if you have an idea of what I should do next, please comment down below. And also make sure to subscribe. Bye.